Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. You may have just heard that baby calf there behind me. And that is because, yes, I picked up two more calves. We're supposed to get another one in the next day or so. Um, these are from the same dairy I was getting those Fleckby Simmental dairy crosses from. Um, so that's what these two guys are. And what we're gonna do is try to get them onto the two nurse cows. Haven't decided, we're gonna get three calves. Um, the Holstein cow is gonna get two of the calves and the Holstein heifer is just gonna get one. So um, don't know if I'm gonna put both of these on the Holstein right now or one on each and then try to add one to the Holstein later. But these are the two calves. They came straight off their mamas. So um, they're used to drinking and this shouldn't be too much trouble as long as the cows cooperate. And since the farmer just pulled them off their mothers, um, they probably won't be hungry today. It is evening right now. So I highly doubt they'll want to drink off of a cow that's not their mother tonight. But tomorrow they should be hungry, they should want to drink. Um, and that's probably when we try this. So after I get these unloaded, I will see you guys the following morning and see what we can do with these two guys. This guy is an absolute monster. He's already up to my hip. He's only a couple of days old. The farmer said he did have to pull him. He was too big for the cow to have on her own, so. Anyway, he, he at least weighs 100 pounds, if not more. He's ridiculously large. Um, anyway, out of breath on that one. Fighting him is not, not easy. Anyway, I'm gonna give them a big pile of hay in here to snuggle up in, um, just till morning. And then we'll put them in with the cow or cows, whichever we decide to do. So in the last clip, I told you guys I would see you the following morning whenever we got the third calf. And uh, it has actually been like two weeks since that clip was filmed. And the reason why is because that night, I guess the night after, I had a soccer game I went and played and towards the end of the game, I dislocated my shoulder again. So for the last two weeks, I've really not been doing any sort of farm chores whatsoever. Um, I've been getting a little bit of pig food ready and then family members and everyone else's making up for what I would normally be doing. So pretty much for the last two weeks, I have not been doing much. Um, luckily, this whole nurse cow situation turned out pretty, pretty good. And I will show you guys the other calf we picked up and then kind of give you the rundown um, of what we got going on here with the nurse cows. So as you can see, we've got the Holstein heifer here. Um, she is doing well then we've got the main nurse cow and that is one of the calves we put on her that's the one you guys haven't seen yet once again he's a fleck v dairy cross and uh from the same farm i used to get him from pretty good sized calf pretty happy with that one so that's part of the holsteins and then we got the other pile of calves over here so that one standing up is the heifer's actual calf. The black one sitting down there is the cow's actual calf. The other two down there are the uh, ones I unloaded in one of the first clips. So, and of course they're running off, having a good time. So how we ended up dividing this up, um, the Holstein cow, she only has three good quarters, but uh, she has a lot of milk. So. 
She can raise three calves. She raised three fourths last year. Well, technically six fourths last year, but um, three at a time. So what we did with her, we put, of course, we left her actual calf on her, and then we gave her the two red and white calves. So she has got the two red and white ones along with her black white face heifer calf. And then the really big black white face bull that I picked up, he is on this heifer here. So she has got, she has got her calf and then she's also got the big black white face calf. So um, she's only got two. She still has quite a bit of milk. Um, probably could have put three on her if I wanted to um, since it's her first year. We are just gonna give her two see how she does and as you can see the cows are out here grazing along with one of our blind butcher steers here um, he kind of uses them as a guide he follows them around but not a whole lot of grass but it is spring so we do have quite a bit of grass growing and this is just our hay lot got some hay left there that they pick on when they get a little hungry but they do have some grass to graze it is helping with milk production a little bit so and along with the grass, we're also giving them grain, a little bit of grain twice a day. The calves have just started nibbling on some grain as well, so that's good to see. And the reason I want to see the calves eating grain now is because we are going to early wean them at about four months old. That way we can stick some more calves on the nurse cows. So um, they will raise these calves for four months. We'll wean that group of calves off, bring in a whole new group of calves, and let them feed them for four months. Then we'll wean those off, give the cow a four-month break till she has her next calf for next year and these two may actually be the most profitable animals on the farm and the reason they can be the most profitable obviously we've got five calves on these two cows in total we should be able to have them raise 10 for us this season the calves that I had to buy were 160 bucks a piece which is not that expensive the ones I sold last year that looked similar to these they looked more Jersey than these though um, I sold those for 900 bucks Let's just say we profit $500 per calf, which it should be more than that, more like six or 700. But um, just for easy math, let's just say profit 500 on the low end. So you may be wondering why we don't just get a bunch of nurse cows and do everything this way. And honestly, if I had more land and time, I probably would. But this is a daily chore. Got to give them grain twice a day. As you know, grain prices are not going down and they aren't cheap. So it'd be nice to have 30 nurse cows going, get, I don't know, get 180 calves off of the group in a year. But this isn't always the easiest thing. Um, after we put the calves with the mothers, this cow gave us a little bit of trouble like normal. It took her about a week and a half to accept them and let them nurse without kicking. As you can see, well, of course now he stopped. The red belted one there, he is nursing at the moment. Um, he's nursing from behind, or was. So that is one downside. Uh, this Holstein, she'll let him suck, but she doesn't want him sucking from the side. So she lets her calf suck on the side. She lets the two red ones suck from behind. So they have learned they don't get kicked from behind, so that's when they nurse. Um, this black one, she lets him nurse whenever he wants. She treats him as her own calf, which is great. So yeah, this cow, super easy. That cow, she gives us trouble a little bit every year, so nothing we weren't expecting. You can see she got all three sucking right now. So while I'd love to have a bunch of nurse cows, it is just not, not really possible um, for me right now. Um, with the full-time job and farming, as well it's just it's a lot to a lot to do so anyway guys that is an update on the nurse cows actually that heifer over there is letting the white one suck so i guess he's been doing that behind my back uh anyway once again i guess that's a good heifer letting any of the calves suck that want to <laughs> but anyway i apologize for not getting a video out to you guys training them with their new calves but I was just not out here to do it so whenever we get these weaned off um, I will show you guys the next batch of calves and hopefully give you a video on the process so between these two next year they will raise let's see 12 calves so next year it'll be even more profitable get two more calves total 
But anyway, we will see how it goes. I'll give you guys an update on these calves and cows later, along with another video of them adopting the next set of calves. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you all next time.